Good morning and welcome back. Our reading today is from the book of Lamentations, chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. Here's what it says. How the Lord has covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger. He cast down from heaven to the earth the beauty of Israel and did not remember his footstool in the day of his anger. The Lord has swallowed up and has not pitied all the dwelling places of Jacob. He has thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He has brought them down to the ground. He has profaned the kingdom and its princes. He has cut off in fierce anger every horn of Israel. He has drawn back his right hand from before the enemy. He has blazed against Jacob like a flaming fire devouring all around. So you might have already noticed, and this is going to be true throughout chapter 2 of Lamentations, these 22 verses have a special emphasis on God's anger. And we see it right here. How the Lord has covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger. And then we have this, how cast, you know, Israel is cast down from heaven. Who, who do we think of in the Bible is cast down from heaven? Lucifer, Satan, the adversary, he's cast down. And we see it also in the book of Revelation. He is cast down, he cast out from heaven, he and his angels. Uh, these are pictures of one who's been sent away from God's favor. And certainly the, the kingdom of Judah has been sent away from God's favor because, again, of we already reviewed it before, her terrible apostasies finally led God to take away the kings and the princes and, and all the corrupted parts. So here we have this picture of the beauty of Israel cast down because of God's anger. He's trying to discipline. He's trying to bring, bring her to a place of repentance. The strongholds uh, uh, throughout the land of Judah, they're all cast down because of the invading armies of Babylon have done this. And then we have also this business about the kings and princes. At the bottom of verse 2, he has profaned the kingdom and its princes. In his anger, God has cast these institutions aside because they were corrupting instead of correcting God's people. And then you have every horn of Israel cut off, verse 3. And so remember, in the Bible, the horn is, one, is representing leaders, leadership qualities. Kings are often, or kingdoms are referred to as horns in many places. And here, the horns, the leaders of Israel have been, have been cast down because of their great apostasy. So here we have a picture of God's anger. And yet, we don't have a picture of him totally destroying. He easily could do that. He is chastening. And so these are measured... Uh, measured expressions of his anger. But the, the people are feeling this sense of God's abandonment of them. And he hasn't abandoned them, but, but they feel pretty abandoned and pretty rough. And what lessons might we draw as we think about this? Well, one lesson we might draw is that leaders are given very high responsibilities. And when they uh, operate against the principles of God's kingdom, many times they would be uh, at the extremity of his anger. They're just, they're cut off. And so, again, those who lead, those who are spiritual leaders, those who lead nations, they all have a special responsibility. Here it was the kings, the princes, the priests, the prophets, enormous responsibility to bring the people up higher. And yet their, their uh, behavior had been such to bring them down lower. Fortunately, there were faithful people like Jeremiah. And he has passed through this whole experience and now God is prophesying through him again. The faithful prophet is still on the job. And we can be glad that God's faithful servants do what they're supposed to. Well, let's think of those lessons and let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be faithful. If any of us are in any kind of leader capacity, help us to be attentive to your ways, your will, your things so that those may be the things that we help the people to come close to heaven on. Oh, Lord, the church right now is in great need of faithful leaders. We're not in an age that hasn't given us a lot of strong leaders. So help us, Lord. Maybe you're raising up someone who's hearing this, thinking about this passage. Please bless your people. Watch over us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So go out there today and find out what God's will is and do that.